Okay, as promised at the beginning of this hour, it's time for Joyce Vance's most important question and answer of the Mueller hearings. In an important new article for Time Magazine, former federal prosecutor Joyce Vance has identified a question that she says perfectly links volume one and volume two of the Mueller report. She'll explain that link in a moment, but first, here is Congresswoman Val Demings asking what Joyce Vance thinks is the most important question in the hearings. Director Mueller, a couple of my colleagues right here wanted to talk to you or ask you about lies. So let's talk about lies. According to your report, page 9, volume 1, witnesses lied to your office and to Congress. Those lies materially impaired the investigation of Russia interference, according to your report. Other than the individuals who pled guilty to crimes based on their lying to you and your team, did other witnesses lie to you? I think and, uh, there are probably a spectrum of witnesses uh, in terms of uh, those who uh, are not telling the full truth and those are outright liars. Thank you very much. Outright liars. It is fair to say then that there were limits on what evidence was available to your investigation of both Russia election interference and obstruction of justice. That's true and it's usually the case. And that lies by Trump campaign officials and administration officials impeded your investigation. Uh, I would generally agree with that. Joyce Vance is with us, but to give her enough time to explain the importance of what you just saw, we're going to try to we're going to squeeze in a final commercial break right here because I don't want to do that in the middle of what Joyce has to say. And Joyce, hold on. Joyce will tell us what is so important about that question and answer you just saw right after this break. And we're back with the cliffhanger from former U.S. attorney and MSNBC legal analyst Joyce Vance. Joyce, let's take another look at the short version of the question and answer that you found so important yesterday. It is fair to say then that there were limits on what evidence was available to your investigation of both Russia election interference and obstruction of justice. That's true and it's usually the case. And that lies by Trump campaign officials and administration officials impeded your investigation. Uh, I would generally agree with that. Terry Spence, you have the floor. Why was that so important? It seems to me, Lawrence, that this is the linkage between volume one and volume two of the Mueller report. We're, we're used to looking at them separately. Yesterday we had two separate hearings, but it's important, I think, that we understand, and, and Mueller made it very clear that we needed to understand that the obstruction ultimately impacted their inability to charge a conspiracy or other crimes related to connections between the campaign and Russia, and that it's ultimately that obstruction of justice, not just from the president, but also from people around him, people who Mueller in the report tells us didn't tell the whole truth, lied, destroyed evidence. It's that obstructive behavior by an entire circle of people that ultimately serves to keep the American people in the dark about what really happened. And so uh, in volume one, uh, when we get to the phrase insufficient evidence, mm -hmm. this is part of how we got to that phrase insufficient evidence. You know, it is, a, and Mueller clarifies that. He says, we believe that we have the full story, but because there are gaps in our evidence, it's possible that if we had more information, if some of these folks had told the truth, that it would cast the evidence that we have in, in a new light, that we would view these events differently or, or maybe in a completely new light. And that, I think, is something that we should all understand is the risk here, that when people obstruct justice, it keeps prosecutors from getting to the full truth. And when we're talking about the president of the United States engaging in a pattern of relationship uh, of behavior with Russia, it's very dangerous for us to not know the truth. And Joyce, uh, Robert Mueller seemed to think, uh, seemed to be suggesting there was, a, there was a, a lot of lying that they were aware of at, and different grades of it, uh, out, all the way to outright liar. Outright liar, we can presume, I guess, Michael Flynn. He got charged with it as a crime. But there aren't, it seems as though there aren't as many perjury charges as you might expect from a prosecutor who's saying we dealt with all of this lying. 
You know, perjury is different from having witnesses come and lie to you, because it's a legal charge. It requires that you prove intent. It requires that you prove the materiality of what you're being told. And here we have witnesses who came in and perhaps told lies or told half-truths in a posture where it wasn't possible, feasible, desirable for prosecutors to spend all of their time on that, and yet it impeded the investigation. We saw charges in the most important cases involving lies, but I think we really don't know. You know, we know, because Mueller tells Congresswoman Demings that it did impact the investigation. What we don't know is how much, how pervasive it was. And it's, it's very clear that Donald Trump is trying to impede the investigation. He's trying to stop the investigation. He's trying to fire Robert Mueller. And it could be uh, that the drama of that, as it unfolds in the reading of the report, uh, casts such a shadow that people don't notice uh, all of this other lying that Robert Mueller says is it was impeding their investigation. I think that that's the risk here. We really don't know the answer to that ultimate question. Was there a conspiracy? And we don't know because they were so successful at obstruction. That's a dangerous place for us to be. Joyce Vance, your, your new article is at time.com. Everyone should grab it. Joyce Vance, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Joyce Vance gets tonight's last word. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the button below for more from the last word and the rest of MSNBC.